a lot of businesses have the use case where they're gonna send out the same exact Google Doc or a PDF doc uh, to multiple individuals. And this could be on the side of lead generation, right? It could also be from legal, whether you wanna have a initial contract or other contract updates. And what I wanted to do is automate this workflow. So and within about 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how you could do this. What we're going to do is start off with a spreadsheet and you could either use something with a like Google Sheets or an Excel file. We're going to extract information from there and then we're going to go and take a look at a templatized Google document. We're gonna duplicate that Google document, fill it with information from that spreadsheet, and then save it into Google Drive. I'm also gonna show you really quick how you can send a Gmail draft as well if you wanna go with that approach. And then I'll also talk about other updates that you could do to this workflow to really expand it out. But I'm gonna keep it pretty simple for this YouTube video. Uh, before we do jump into any end, if you do need any help with any end workflows, I am taking on freelance customers. So feel free to reach out to me on my website. The link will be down below in the description. Uh, regardless, let's jump right into this workflow right now. All right, guys, so this is the workflow that we're gonna be building today. I'm also gonna show you a few different ways that you could really expand this out and uh, make it better for your business if you wanted to use it in that regard. Um, so let me also kind of go over some of the pieces of information we'll be using in this video. So first, I'm gonna be uploading an Excel file here, but I just put this in Google Sheets because I use Sheets more than Excel. Uh, regardless, what we have over here is our city right? A franchise fee associated with the franchise, the franchise name, the owner of the franchise, which is just the people that essentially um, had an impact on these franchises. And then an email, which obviously this isn't their emails, right? But I would just put some emails on that side of things. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to be gen bulk generating this letter and uh, just some super generic stuff, right? Date today, dear owner, I'm writing this, Lorm Ispum. Thanks, Ryan, All right? Nothing too crazy over here. Next, we have a Google Drive, which we're gonna be generating both a PDF file as well as a Google Doc. I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna move these to trash because we're gonna be building that out again. And then guess what? We're here in our NAN workflow. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna accept a spreadsheet like this, right? And we're gonna bulk generate PDFs or Google Docs based around this spreadsheet, um, which is gonna be a huge time saver, right? So let's do that. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, grab in our Excel file. And again, there's variants on this, right? Um, what you could do as well is just start with a Google Sheet, right? And start with that on the workflow. You could do like a manual execution or a specific time and run it all off of Sheets. But I just wanted to have a little bit of a twist on this one and we're gonna start with an Excel file, right? So what I'm gonna do is just execute step to show you guys, but all I've done on the side of things, right? is have a field name called franchise owners, right? And an element type, I set this to file, right? Um, there should only be one file at a time, so don't click on multiple files. And I only accepted XLSX. You can expand this out if you wanted to accept in CSVs as well. Um, I just know the file type on this is gonna be Excel. So I just click execute step over here, which actually I already have this open over here. So I'm just actually gonna just save and refresh this really quick. Apologize for that, but uh, we'll do that over again, right? So I just click execute step. This is gonna open up over here. Choose your file, right? I'm just gonna go over here, franchise owners example, and then I'm just gonna click submit and it says form submitted, right? So we now know this is in over here and you can see we have our binary file, right? File name, extension, so we're looking really good. And if you download it, right, you're just gonna get an Excel file, right? And I, again, I just upload this. This is the data that we're gonna be taking a look at, right? But you can imagine, right? Imagine if you had like 40, 50 rows on this and you had to build out a PDF document or a Google Doc or whatever the case is for each of these, right? This is gonna save you a ton of time. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do on here, and let me go back into any end, is we have to extract our information from this file, right? So I just go over here to extract from file. And what I have over here is our binary file from a little bit earlier, right? Extract from Excel us X. And then what I do is just grab the name. So it says franchise underscore owners. So I'm gonna do that. We go over here to click execute steps, right? And it says three items, but it just shows one over here. So for example, city, franchise fee, franchise name, franchise owner, and email. Okay, next what we're gonna do is loop over each of these items. So we have three items in over here. We're gonna loop over these one at a time. So just click over here to loop over items. I just set the batch size to one on this side of things, right? So it's gonna go through one each at a time. And I'm gonna click execute step. 
And you go over here to the loop branch and you can see that we have our information once again. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the Google Drive side of things. So the first thing we're going to do is I've already built out this template for a franchise letter. So if you're going to work on the same template over and over again, temp or if you're going to build out the same letter over and over again, right? Templatize it. It's going to save you a lot of time. So what I find easy is you just set brackets like this around the variable that you want to change. So let's say we were going to date a letter for today. So you just put date today, dear owner, right? So we're going to be changing the date. We're going to change the owner. I'm writing this lorem ispum to let you know that your franchise, again, we're changing out that franchise in city. We're changing out the city has a fee, right? I put dollar sign over here. I find it's easier um, just to do that conversion already just to put a number on that side of things. Thanks, Ryan. And again, like you could have multiple fonts. You could have a design associated with this document. I'm keeping it super bare bones for this video. You can expand upon it, right? But uh, I've done this where I've had like fake signatures on here as well. Well, I shouldn't say fake signatures, but like a signature of a different person in a different font, right? I've had designs where there's been headers and footers and, you know, feel free to expand out this. I'm just keeping this super bare bones for the video, right? So now what we're going to do on here is copy this file. So the first thing we're going to do is set up your Google Drive account. I've already done that in a video, so make sure to check that out if you have not yet. Uh, we're going to do over here, operation copy, since we're just going to copy this file, right? We want to copy it before we change it. So super important over there. Uh, you can set a name for it. So I just put over here, franchise letter underscore, and then just put like a unique name. Now, obviously this franchise name is not unique. Well, in this data set it is, right? You can see there's only Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, and McDonald's, but Regardless, what I recommend is just setting up a, a unique name, right, on that side of things. Um, and then what I have over here is grab from a parent drive. So I go to my drive and then I just created a folder called franchise letters, which is this one over here, right? So this is where I wanna store all these letters. Uh, I'll be storing the Google doc as well as a PDF doc. So that's all we do there. Next thing we'll do, and this is what's really, really cool, is creating a document, right? So we've copied this over, right? And we have a new version of this called like Chipotle or whatever it is, right? We just went back over here, right? We copied it and you can see it says franchise letter Chipotle. So now we're editing franchise letter Chipotle. And what we do want to do first is just grab in this ID over here, this JSON.ID, because that's your document ID, right? And this is a unique variable um, or a unique name. So grab that over there. Next, we're gonna look at each of these sections that we want to change out, right? And I just put over here, object text, right? Um, so you can grab that on here, so object text. You can see there's different options on here, but we're just gonna be changing text. Okay, so the owner, right? What we're gonna do is go over here to extract from file, and we're gonna drag and drop the franchise owner in over here, right? So drag, drop, pretty easy, and extract from file to item.json franchise owner. So we're changing that owner that is right over here on that side of things. Okay, next we're gonna do the same thing with franchise, right? So I have the information for franchise over here. So you can see franchise name, same exact thing, right? We're changing out this franchise text with that. So we'll just drag and drop that over there. Same thing with city, right? So we have city and there's two of them that are gonna be a little bit interesting for you guys. So the first one is gonna be fee. Now this is an integer and you can see that over here. So what we have to do is we're gonna to have to cast this integer into a string, right? If you just pass in this franchise fee, it's not gonna work, right? And sometimes this stops people when they're trying to build out their any and workflows, they get some errors and you know, oh man, it's not working. What, what do I have to do? Well, if you're converting this over, all you have to do is put string around the outside. So you can see like all these have this dollar sign, right? Extract from file, but this one has string, right? So you have string and then you have the parentheses right there and, and the parentheses. So if you're converting like an integer into a string, that's all you got to do, put that string. Okay. And lastly, right, the one that's also a little bit confusing is our date. So I just put date today, very common thing to see when you're going to be generating some sort of letter or something like that, right? So. Um, you actually don't need to store the date over here. All you have to do is do dollar now to format and then just put the date format, right? So uh, if you use it like in the US, MM, DD, YYYY, or you could change this up, right? Um, if you have it in another way. So feel free to change that as you want. I just put this over here, right? So uh, today would be 824, you know, 2025. So that's why I have that over there. Okay, and you can see it's populated over there on that side of things. But if you wanted years first, right, put the years over here, right? If you wanna change things up, feel free to do so. 
All right, so there's that side of things, right? So now we're gonna update that document. So this document now has all this information, which is awesome. But now what we need to do is turn this into a PDF document. So what we're gonna do is now download this document again. So grab the same document ID, right? So just drag and drop that over here. And then we're gonna do a Google file conversion, right? So we're gonna convert this into a PDF, right? Some people wanna have PDF documents instead of a Google Doc. So that's why we have that over here. And then all we're gonna do again is just re-upload this again and just call it franchise underscore in this case, right? And if you're doing something else, feel free to rename it. I just put franchise underscore and just put over here JSON franchise name. Again, you can see upload, right? We're using data again as our name and we're just going into that franchise letters side of things. So I'm gonna execute this workflow just to show you guys that this is gonna populate. Um, so we have nothing over here right now. We're gonna execute this. Uh, I'll have to re-upload that file most likely. So let's just do this over here. So upload this file, right? Franchise owner's example. I'm gonna click submit. And then this is just gonna go through, right? So you can see the first time copying, upload, download, upload, right? It's gonna go through it again on number two, copy, right? update, download, upload, and then it's gonna go through number three. And let me also, once this is done, I'll show you the, the Google Drive and I'll, I'll explain a few other things as well, kind of how you can expand this out. Uh, but you can see if I go over here and I refresh it, right now we have one of these for each. So you can see we have a PDF document, again, super, super basic, but then we also have the Google Doc, right? So if you wanted to have or anything with the Google Doc, it's also been built out over there. You know, PDF, right, Chick-fil-A, Founder Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Atlanta, the fee, right? And again, you can you could change this up if you really wanted to with how this looks. Um, super super basic, right? Lorem Ispum, Chipotle, Denver, right? Steve Ells. Okay, cool. So we have all that there. So uh, a few things I wanted to mention, right? So first is you know you could also set up drafts in Gmail to get this ready to go. So like imagine you have multiple owners that you're sending out things to, right? All you have to do is go over here and start playing with the Gmail node. So you can just go over here to Gmail, right? And you can see there is a ton of stuff that you could work on here. And what I'd recommend is take a look at creating a draft, right? So I'm not gonna attach this over here to the workflow, but you can see you sign in with the Gmail account, draft, create, right? And you have different options over here. So you can actually send up an attachment right, and add an attachment. And you can just drag and drop an attachment on the side of things and be done with it. Another thing you could do too, is you could work with creating zip files. So like imagine like if there's one owner that had like 30 franchises, right, and you have to create a letter for every single franchise, right? You again, you could go in here, you could create a zip file and then also attach that into your upload, right? So that way you can send 30 of these at once rather than sending 30 separate emails, right? And you could name it like, here's all the franchise locations, put it into a zip file and things like that, right? But it's a little bit outside the scope of this video. I just wanted to show you guys essentially how we could take a, a spreadsheet like this, right? And then also build out multiple documents all at once uh, based around this. And there is the variation, right? Where you could just fill out a form with these fields and just go through it. And like, all you have to do is just remove this spreadsheet side of things and just create a form, right? And just go through this, which is much easier, right? But I find this very valuable if you're gonna do some bulk creations, which I find a lot of businesses want to do in some sort of capacity, right? And this could even be used on like the lead generation side. Like you have a bunch of leads, you wanna send them something, right? Okay, here's how we could do that. Um, but yeah, that is essentially it for this video. Thanks guys for watching. If you need any, any help, right, I'm taking on customers. So make sure to reach out on my website as well. This uh, video will be in an article form on the website at some point. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to upload a few different NAN videos right now on the channel, but I do have a full library of tons of videos on data, whether you're gonna learn SQL or Python. And you know we have at least 10 plus NAN videos right now, but I'm gonna greatly expand that out over the future. Thanks again, guys, and I will catch you in another video.